that smell? Cheesy, fishy, definite whiff of BS. Yeah, this week we're talking about Edwin Poots. Mr. Poots has been taking time out of his busy schedule to pose for photographs with a young boy holding a yellow fish and a man crouching beside them, uh, not quite sure what he's doing. So what was it, like an art competition? Oh no, no, no. This is the Northern Ireland Environment Agency's latest cheesy, sorry, I mean fun campaign to prevent poisonous spills going into our waterways with a yellow fish, because you know, we've had thousands of those over the years. But the yellow fish, what were they on when they came up with that? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I imagine the powers that be, they all gathered in a room, right? Somebody says, pollution, it's really bad. We need to impose fines. And somebody goes, yeah, we tried that, you know. But out of 6,000 pollution incidents, we only imposed 140 fines. Most of them were appealed and then the fine was reduced massively. Right, well, what we need to do is really go after the polluters and make them change their ways. Nah, that sounds like an awful lot of hard work. And then I think maybe somebody, let's give them a Bible and say perhaps they were under the influence. I don't know, but I think somebody must have said something like, what about a yellow fish? And everybody in the room, because maybe it was a Friday afternoon, went, Brilliant! Yellow fish! Great idea! But then Minister Poots, because I don't think he was the one who came up with the idea and he doesn't look like he would inhale. I reckon he probably said, yellow fish? What do you mean by that? And then they said, well, people dump stuff. You know, oil, slurry, noxious waste into drains, goes into rivers. In fact, we had an incident just recently. Somebody was just, I don't know, going along, minding their business. Next thing you know, they've released thousands of litres of slurry into a river. Sure, we've all done it, haven't we? <laughs> Killed thousands of fish. So what we'll do is put drawings of yellow fish near the drains with a slogan, only rain down the drain, and when people see it, that'll stop them doing it. And everybody in the room went, yay, brilliant, never mind pesky penalties or boring old fines, just show them a yellow fish and that'll be brilliant. What? And then what, they all took another wee token, and took the rest of the afternoon off? No, as if. <laughs> you know, just to put some perspective on this, in England, 20,000 litres of oil was put in a river in Lancashire, Tesco paid a fine of eight million pounds. Here, 40,000 litres of diesel went into Larne Lock, an area of special protection, and Caterpillar, the company, paid a fine of 6,000 pounds. You see, it costs money to get rid of waste legally, so if it can just be released into the nearest river and you pay a couple of grand of a fine, <laughs> wee buns. In fact, you could have your fish with the wee buns if the fish weren't all dead. So what we say to Poots and Deera and the NIEA is, wise up, do something that works. Maybe start with realistic fines. Maybe stop double jobbing as Minister for the Environment and Minister for Agriculture. Maybe actually follow through on your commitment to set up an independent environmental protection agency here. Maybe, you know, considering that you are the Minister for protecting the environment, and I know this is a radical thought in Northern Ireland. Maybe you could do your job. Right, I'm away off to speak to the PSNI. I've got this great idea for preventing crime here. What we'll do is we'll put up a picture of a red cat everywhere, right? And when people see it and they read the slogan, red cat, don't do that, nobody will do anything bad. Genius, no more crime. Just think, welcome to Nirvana. Here we are now. Entertain us. No, Simon, not that kind of nirvana. <laughs>